Starting today, anyone out in public in Brookline is required to wear a mask or something to cover their face. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse was in Brookline today where it seemed that most people were following the rules. The mask or covering should be over your mouth and nose, and health officials are reminding people they should only be going outside for essentials. Martin's to cover delivery. If you don't have a mask on, you're not getting inside Martin's Coffee Shop in downtown Brookline. Is a ton of Brookline uh, requirement? The diner opened during the 1918 flu pandemic. <laughs> The owner wants to stay safe and stay open during the coronavirus pandemic, and that means everyone wears a mask. It is what it is. It's the reality right now. This is the world we're living in. Starting Friday, the town is requiring people to cover their face in public. Businesses could be fined if their employees aren't wearing a mask. What we want to do is, you know, make hopefully we can reduce the amount of people that are exposed to COVID while they doing essential activities. If you don't have a mask, gotmasksbrookline.org can help you find some or connect you with materials to make one. The website is set up sort of like classified ads, but for masks. In the first week, we've had over 200 adult masks made and given away. Um, and now that Brookline has ordered that everyone wears masks, um, in the past couple of days, our our posts have, have gone up dramatically. Most people around downtown Brookline Friday say they're supportive of the mask requirement and have a message for those who still are not wearing one. Just to your part, it's really not that difficult. Like, people's lives are at stake. A small inconvenience for a, for a benefit to help those that are most affected by it. The health commissioner says they have the authority to enforce this rule, but are hoping people follow it voluntarily. Reporting from Brookline, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News. Mike, thank you.